What's up, ladies and gentlemen? What's going on, people? Now, on this discussion, you know, I talked about colors last time. This time, we're going to discuss what you see on screen. And it says, the serpent cast out his mouth water as a flood after the woman. That he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And, you know, I get right into stuff. I don't waste your time. And, um... Just in case you missed that, the water part, how can a dragon cast out water from his mouth? In Revelations, when Revelations told us that it was about fire. Now I want to show y'all some of the mixtures of elements because this stuff is even in movies, cartoons, shows, your heroes. You know, the heroes of all uh, things regarding this. We're going to talk about like witchcraft spells. And stuff because people worship the dragon and depending on what type of level people is on of evil they get certain things wished you know carried out deaths bringing back deaths this is what you just seen the water part of the dragon this is the fire and whenever you mix different elements that holds the keys to having other people worship it. It becomes a, a, a whole broad process. Chaotic events like you've been seeing with the six God and the five situation, the beast. On screen it also shows different type of witches. Air witch, water witch, fire. So every time you see in a show or what have you, a different person but they always have a fire power they either stronger or weaker than the last movie or the last show that you've seen and it's the same thing with any from earth any element that is being used by an individual time and time again if it's not satan or if it's not god they they are weaker versions of what is really supposed to be. You either good or you evil. And I, you know, most people, they, they pretend, they, they in between. But right here, you have dragon protection spells that people place on other individuals to get things done. Bringing back the dead, killing individuals, love, teleportation, healing, all of that stuff. Cause we know the dragon healed from his deadly wound in Revelations, which is another reason I'm doing this part of this type of information for you. Like I say, I don't miss, so y'all better come with everything that you have. Fire, the living element. Fire is one of four elements that lie as the heart of all natural magic tradition. It's sometimes known as the living element and has long been considered to be a divine energy sent from God's. It also seen as the element of creation. And that's what most people will, you know, mix in there. And things to throw, to throw individuals up. I'm going to read a little bit of this. Many ancient traditions believe that fire lived inside wood. Explaining how flames could be conjured from nowhere by rubbing the two together. And we know that God works in mysterious ways just like he did with Moses. Coming to Moses in the burning bush. You know, most people, they don't, they, they, they about mixing stuff up. Just like certain Egyptians did. Certain sun worshipers that leads back to fire. Because you without the sun, you couldn't even rub two sticks together to get a fire. So, you know, the Bible talk about the sun as well. And we know that they changed all of this stuff up just to worship the sun. But it's, it's how they did it. The evil ones, the evil ancestors. I don't, I despise these individuals. You know, the individuals is what's going on in today's world because people want to pray to these idols and follow behind something that they that they really have no knowledge of. They they think that they have, um, and they fighting on the wrong side. The sun, the source of life, was worthy of worship. The sun god took on different forms and names 
different forms and names. Based on his role, the Egyptian ruler took the title and so forth and so on. Yeah, we we gonna get into this, folks. No need to beat around the bush. You have a lot of yes people and individuals who want to understand this information. They, they, they've been lied to, like I have. That's why I have to dig deep in the spirit and ask God how, how to bring this about, how to get this out. Because if anybody told y'all that doing this is easy, then they lied off rip. Every time I do a topic, I'm nervous. Not nervous in the way of, am I going to get it out? But in the way of how I'm going to get it out. Because getting it out is nothing. It's how I'm going to get creative. And I talked about the book of shadows, the shadow God. The most dangerous rival of all times. So, let's talk about spells a little bit. If anybody know about spells, if you are a weaker link, if you don't have the shield of God and Jesus, these spells will condemn certain people. Now, if you are a kid, and most, that's why most people cast spells on kids, because whether you're chosen or not, some of those spells can still go through until you figure out what's going on with your evil family and the people around you. And um, that's why you got to break away from certain people once you start finding stuff out. And most people want to keep you not knowing. But it's good to know the elements of, what's, of this, is, this is a part of life. People use it for evilness. You have death in the mix of this, spirituality, all of this stuff equals who's got, who who Jesus and God really is. You know, I just won't. That's why. Why you think the Bark Simpsons is this color? They worship they, their sun worshippers too. The, the writers, all of this stuff. You know, they the same color as this. I don't just pick out pictures and put, I have to put all this stuff together. Nothing is really easy. Most people just make it a little easy. And that's to make people not give up on the stuff that they do. You know what I mean? But look at that. The same, it's the same color because they, they, they sun worshipers. And they show that time and time again in their shows. This is a game that represents spells, witchcraft, magic. Some people use this even till today. You got teenagers and kids who don't know what Wicca is. So do research on what Wicca is. It involves fire. And I've been breaking down the element regarding spells. And I'm not going to get into Wicca because we don't have enough time for all, you know, to do that. You don't want to become like a mad person, not knowing, you know, just gone in the world, falling for anything because some person say, hey, man, I can get you to the money faster. Here's a shortcut in life. Now, here is a breakdown. The first basic element, which is the fire. An offensive but also defensive element, but its weakness is the water element. You know, the water element is its weakness is the thunder. You know, everything has a weakness, and the only reason fire is the biggest uh, situation in end times because it involved the sun, and we all know who Jesus is. And how people mix things up. So I hope y'all are following me. You know. Um, we know time is, is, is running short. For most people. It's good to get right with Jesus man. Understand this stuff. I, I, I don't get any money to do this for y'all. This is out of love. And sincerity. Understanding. What, whatever word. It's your sun worshipers. 
you know, goes all the way back to the Roman days, the Catholics, the Christians, all of these people. You can try to steal, you can, you, stealing souls and stealing people's life is no different from what you see this individual doing right here. And that's why I put this picture in there. Because individuals think that, oh, I, I wasted his or her time. God gonna forgive that. Or there's no consequence for that. When deep down, it's a consequence for, for a lot of things, especially playing with God. I like I was just showing y'all, you have people that can do magic just to create storms, rain, forceful uh, winds, you name it. If they on the high, if they <clears throat> if they're on a high level with the enemy, they gonna make it happen. And here's some more Egyptians, some women, kids. They praying to the sun, you know. And a lot of y'all. Well, I already know this part. So I want to also show, because show, I'm going to get into a clip. It's even in this cartoon. Cartoon, I have a lot of subliminals. That's why you keep seeing me use his pictures and things like that. I used to watch this cartoon, and I still do from time to time. And if you wanted to know what's up with the yellow hair, that comes from the sun situation, because this, this cartoon was created, help from the Egyptians and so forth. So they use they use yellow hair for their tra transformations. And what you see and you know, here's a clip. Regarding Sometimes the celestial rhythm sync up just right to one super blue moon. Your calendar reminders. That's supposed to the take place in January 31st. All of this stuff is based on the sun, the moon, the earth, everything that you see. Celestial stage. On December 3rd, 2017, January 1st, 2018, and January 31st, 2018. You see these numbers? A supermoon is a moon that is full when it is also at or near its closest point in its orbit around Earth. Since the moon's orbit is elliptical, one side, apogee, is about 30,000 miles 50,000 kilometers farther from Earth than the other, perigee. Nearby perigee full moons appear about 14% bigger and 30% brighter than full moons that occur near apogee in the moon's orbit. The supermoons are a great opportunity for people to start looking at the moon, not just once, but every chance they have, says Noah Petro, a research scientist from NASA's Goddard Space Flights totally blocks the sun two and a half years on average with the total eclipse it's for the get into the blue moon spectacle indeed a super blue blood moon sometimes the celestial rhythm sync up just right to wow us Heed your calendar reminders on the three dates mark and the reason super blue moon did and will take place is because of the dust and the atmosphere and stuff like that. The moon set or moon rise and look up for a trilogy of sky watching trees. According to NASA on Thursday, 2018's first full moon, nicknamed a wolf moon, will take place on January 1st and it will be a super moon. A super moon occurs when the moon appears bigger and brighter in the sky as it reaches its perigee, the point in the moon's elliptical orbit. That's the blue moon. And we're going to get into why you see the those Dragon Ball Z situation why, why their hair is now blue. We'll talk about that for a second. So, 
I showed you a little bit of that. You see right here. This is uh, the character that I just showed you on the cartoon. When he needed to transform into the monkey situation, he had to look at the moon. Cedric said, I'll talk about that another time, but I just wanted to tie those in. You see, this is why they didn't want to show us the uh, this part. It took so long to bring this out because it has this cartoon have a lot of subliminals and it can basically help individuals understand certain stuff. Well, the teenagers, you know. Bog Simpson, Sun Worshippers. You see the Masonic Pyramid, Masonic G, and these are the other ones. This is basically, uh, this was a scene regarding witchcrafts and sun situation. It's a dragon. Different. I don't know if you can see that. Different colors. Green. White, red, blue, and now one look like dark purple. Now, that is what you, this is what one of the heads that you've seen of what I was showing y'all in the beginning. And um, I'm also get back to a lot of this stuff. I just wanted to, <clears throat> for the most part, I just want, I hope that y'all is understanding what is going on with the whole sun situation, the moon, the dragon. And um, once again, the reason the moon is turning will be blue is because of the, uh, it, it was the dust. And, and we know that the moon goes around um, the earth like on the basis of certain years. And at that same time, so I'm hoping that I showed y'all, you know, as much as I can. And um, once again, you know, this is Bog Simpson, Masonic, G, different elements. This was a sun situation episode. So I put this in there and um, like I showed y'all the different heads of the dragon. Here's the blue one. You have the fire and the different elements. And it is, I know most people is, life isn't what you see going on in movies and shows. This is real stuff. And everybody have, you know, everything have it, its position. So. You know, folks need to um, understand what they into. If you're in the world, 
Try to come out of that stuff. It's only hindering you. And I will be back with more stuff in the near future. This here is the sun once again. You have a situation taking place. The moon goes around Earth every few years at a uh, exact point. And being that the dust and all of that stuff is taking place at that time, you will get your blue super moon, super moon, excuse me. And um, very rare looking at stuff, that's your rainbow. And anytime the sun shines as a light on water, automatically you have, you get color. Everything is created from water, even, even your feces. Fool everything, including with the help of um, with colors. It even helped make color. So, you know, I just wanted to break this down. Like I say, best way I could for y'all. And I will be back. If you want to make it to Jesus and God, you got to come out of the world. Because... Is only destroying and hindering, hindering you. You know what I mean? So until then, folks, I hope y'all like this. My name is Joshua. Thank you for listening. I'm out.